Hi, this is Majid from Ozenic Engineering. So, I would like to compare the results of RCWA and FTTD. So, this is our structure. Our structure, the substrate of our structure is SiO2, as you see here. The material is SiO2. And the waveguide is silicon. So, the, our waveguide is, uh, is periodic in the x direction. So, this is the x direction, this is y direction. So, I would like to uh, simulate the, uh, the transmission and reflection for this periodic structure based on FTTD and RCWA. For the FTTD, so in the next step, uh, we need a solver so you can. Uh, insert the solver from this region, so add FTTD, so I, I already added to the simulation, so this is our FTTD simulation, so if you look at the, in the, in the Y direction is the PML and X direction is periodic, so let's, uh, so as you see here, our FTT is a 2D, and uh, so in the boundary condition, so just x min as a periodic and y min and y max as a pm. So we would like to um, simulate based on FTTT first. So in the next step, we need a source. You can uh, you can insert the source from here, a plane wave. So our source is plane wave. So as you see here, source start a plane wave. And the plane wave type is block periodic. So we want to inject the light from the Y direction as in a, in a backward. So, uh, and the, the, the frequency we are interested to, uh, frequency of 1.1 to 1.9. So in the next step, we need some monitors. So I already had the monitors here. So, we have a T, so you maybe it's better just from rename it to R, and then this is T, so this is R. So this is R, and this is T, so it's a transmission and is for reflection. So regarding to the setting of this monitor so if you go to the edit object and go to geometry is 2d y normal for the transmission for the reflection and transmission is the same 2d y normal and also we have a monitor that um, simulate the, uh, the z normal 2d that normal as you see here and we don't need a movie so I disable the movie so now I will run the, the simulation based on FTT In this step we need to see the results so if I go to the R visualize and then select T then if I go to the T and add to visualize and then select T and then change the, this one to minus real. So, so this is the simulation of, of uh, FTTD. So as you see here, So the blue is reflection and the green is transmission. So now we want to add the like uh, RCWA. So I will go to the layout mode and then I can add the RCWA from here. So at the RCWA, let's look at the setting of FTTD. So if you go to the geometry, you see that the xx band is 0.5 and y span is 0.75. You can 
select the same setting for the RCWA so the geometry zero so 0 0.5 like 0, 0 0.75 and also before we can select the propagation axis as y so we are interested 2d z normal so we will select the, the interface reference position and we are interested just for silicon so let's select the mean and max of silicon so I select I, I'm interested to this two boundary minimum and maximum of silicon so so let's k vector domain to change to the rectangular and maybe 51 is enough for the and for the material for the excitation is excitation we can select 1.1 to 1.9 for instance like we can select 101 points so let's do the simulation if I if I run if I click the run so we we can we see two bottom so I, I will select run RCWA so now I select total energy and then click on visualize add to visualize one so you, you can see that there is a TP and TS so I removed the, 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 peop, the peopleization so just I'm interested to the TS and RS as you see here so let's look at the results so uh, this is a T like as a, a green and is a T as a magnet so let's you can change the color to to black so as you see here the results for both RCWA and FTTD almost same thank you